Looks like Friday I will be going away from the ranch here for a week or so. I'm going up to Navajo Peak, which um, is to the north of here, maybe nine miles or so. I talked with a person who owns a parcel of land in that area near Hart Canyon. There's houses there and there's also a couple of lots that don't have houses on there. It is the only privately owned land in the Chama Gorge in that area. The person I talked to is getting damn annoyed and tired of people trespassing on that land. People who are looking for the Forest Fen hidden treasure. That area, Hart Canyon, Hart Houses, Hart Trail, Below Navajo Peak, that entire area has been searched dozens and dozens and dozens of times already. People looking for the treasure already been there. They've already looked in the cisterns. They've already ripped up the floors in the houses. They've already pulled apart the walls in the houses looking for the treasure. They've already looked in the root cellars and pried apart all the beams holding up the root cellar, the walls and the ceiling. Totally destroyed the place, looking for the treasure dozens and dozens of times. And at least one of the owners of that prop of one of the property there is getting real pissed at the people looking for the treasure. So much so that he has been warning trespassers to get off his property with a pistol in his hand. He talked to two trespassers. Apparently they had uh, Russian accents, but he identified when they were uh, speaking to him as, a, as Russian accents. Told them, is private property, get the fuck off of my property. With a handgun in his hand, and they thought it was up to debate. They wouldn't lead. Safety tip! Northern New Mexico, when a property owner tells you to get off her or his land, you get off immediately. If the person has a handgun, you get off immediately faster. Why I have to explain this to anybody, let alone Russians, I don't understand. Northern New Mexico, uh, Del Norte, N Nuevo Mexico. The culture is not what Americans in general are used to. People still go to church with handguns. People still shoot trespassers and the bodies are never found. They don't even mention, the, the shooters don't even mention to their friends or family, hey, I shot a trespasser. Because apparently it is so common that that is what you do in northern New Mexico in some places. You don't go on private land searching for forest fan treasure. If the owner of that land tells you to leave, it's not a suggestion. Also, in this particular area, the, the houses and Heart Canyon, Heart Trail, that area, you do not approach via Golandrino Mesa from the north. If you must approach that area for recreation, if you are a retard and you insist on searching that area for the treasure after hundreds, literally hundreds of people have already done that, you float down the river through Chama Gorge or you take the Heart Trail from the east or you hike up river from the south you do not take Golandrino, edge of Golandrino, coming north because first off, the trail is extremely dangerous. Second off, second off, in the second case, there is an Apache who has claimed some of that land by right of violence. That land, in his head, belongs to him. You do not cross on that land. 
He holds that by right of violence, just as the American army and the American Anglos claimed the same right by violence before the Mexicans claimed the same right by violence before the the new Spaniards claimed that land by right of violence before the Spaniards claimed the same right by right of violence. You do not reason with an, uh, a Hickory Apache who even on the reservation they think he's uh, batshit crazy. You don't want to at approach that area along the northeastern edge of Golondrina Mesa. Stay the fuck off of that uh, mesa in that area entirely. If you don't, if you go up there with a, an automobile, if somehow you can get in there, there are literally dozens of places where that automobile can be hidden for centuries. Your body can be hidden for centuries. Nobody will ever know what happened to you. Seriously. This, when you're being warned, the, the North New Mexico culture is not what a hell of a lot of Americans are, are used to. People up here still flog themselves during Pentecost. They crucify themselves during Pentecost. The penitents that live north of where I live, way, way back in the canyons, in the nooks and crannies of northern New Mexico, where they don't see other people for months at a time, they crawl on, the hand, on their hands and knees along the highway, flogging themselves for the greater glory of Jesus, think of what they might do to you if you just happen to show up in one of their enclaves up in the either west of, or excuse me east of the Chama Gorge, uh, north of Navajo Peak. You don't want to go in there looking for treasure or in any other reason. Uh, seriously, this is not something that should be done. You can safely go down Chama Gorge on a raft on the river. You can sometimes, most of the time, safely approach the river on trails from the east. Uh, sometimes safely from the south. Don't approach if you have to go into the area from the west. And for damn sure, stay off of fucking private property. I don't give a shit if the owners are not there, because if they are not there, you don't ask them per for permission. The default is to stay off of private property. I should also note, if the treasure is found on private property by anyone, it belongs to the owner of the property. It does not belong to the person who found it. If, it, if the treasure is found on public land, the odds of the, the existing laws are, the odds, 99% of the time, it belongs to the federal government and not to the found, finder. So if anybody out there does find the treasure, it is for damn sure in their interest to not tell anybody. Anyhow, I am going up there <laughs> safely from the east um, and I'll be up there for about a week.